Hi everyone, how are you? I miss you and I hope everyone's doing well at home. I'm sorry we didn't get to say goodbye, but I know we'll be back together soon. Um, so hang in there, be patient, keep plugging along with your work, keep reading, keep writing. Thank you so much for all your hard work you've sent me so far. Um, this is Lexi, by the way. She's always in my lap, so I'm gonna have to put her down when I start reading the book. So today I'm gonna read you this book, and it's a new book I just received from Scholastic, and it's called How the Crayons Save the Unicorn. We've read a few crayon books before this, this school year, so we know those crayons, how they can be helpful sometimes. Um, and it's written by Monica Sweeney, and illustrated by Feronia Parker Thomas. How the Crayon Saves the Unicorn. On the edge of a town, a lost little unicorn wandered in search of a friend. He imagined all the fun he could have with someone to play with, but in his search far and wide, he couldn't find anybody to be his friend. There he is, looking. He splashed through a river, but the fish looked at him funny. He looked up high in the trees, but the birds wouldn't sing with him. He said hello to butterflies in the garden, but they fluttered away. Poor unicorn. So he kept on his search, clap, 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 and made up games along the way. Roar, he'd howl. Help me, he'd cry. I'll save you, he'd chime back. So there he is playing by himself. But after a while, he still felt gloomy. Why wouldn't anyone be his friend? Ever so slowly, his purple hooves turned to gray. His sparkly stars lost their shimmer. Look at their stars. Look at the stars. They're losing their shimmer. His rainbow mane and rainbow tail faded inch by inch, lock by lock until the rainbow was no more. Do you notice how faded it got? No more rainbow. Oh no, bawled the unicorn. Where did all my colors go? Where is all my sparkle? He sniffled, shuffled, shuddered, and sank. In a soft tuft of grass was a little box of crayons. And all of a sudden, the box began to move. And the unicorn perked up. Out jumped seven special crayons. Hey, who's that? Where are my clothes? <laughs> Wahoo, said the green crayon. And why is the sky blue, said the blue crayon. Let's make a run for it, So the red crayon. The unicorn looked up brightly and said, hello. I've been wandering for a while and I've lost all my colors. Maybe you can help. You look like fun, said so magical. Let's go play. Stick with us. Colors are our specialty. And look how colorful they made him. What a great day. The new friends frolicked all over town. Clap, 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 and spread their rainbow colors. Scribble, scribble, scribble. And there they are, making the world so colorful. The unicorn was as happy as can be. He trotted through a field and the crayons came with him. 
He pranced in a garden and the crayons pranced with him. He hummed his favorite tune and the crayons hummed too. They are all getting along so nicely. He is so happy with his friends. They came across a great big puddle. They hopped around the puddle and they splished and they splashed. Cowabunga, said the green crayon. Am I blue because of water or is water blue because of me, said blue crayon. Oh no, cried the unicorn. Not again. What do you notice? He's losing his colors. The unicorn looked down at his gray hooves in sadness. What kind of unicorn am I if I don't even have my rainbow colors? The coziest unicorn? The most fun unicorn? The very sharp unicorn? The splashiest unicorn? So special and a pretty great unicorn and the friendliest unicorn. There they are giving him compliments, making him feel good. That feels good when you get compliments. The crayon surrounded the unicorn in a great big hug and the unicorn felt more confident and happier than ever before. The end. So in the end, Looks like Unicorn made some pretty great friends. They helped him. They made him feel included. And he felt good about himself in the end. So if you'd like to, you can send me a reading response. I'd love to get a picture from you or a um, reading response telling me your favorite part or something Unicorn did in this story that made you happy. Um, so feel, feel free to send me a picture. I hope to see you soon and I will keep reading you stories uh, and have a great week.